And so let's grab some things from the main page. Uh, user manual for sure. Uh, this is where I pretty much learned of the file name that I need to get or it comes with operating systems made for the Orange Pi 5 and you just need it to overwrite the SPI flash. Uh, in other words, the bootloader. We gotta fix that up so we can boot off of NVMe. Armbian, right on their site. So I've had luck with this before with my other Orange Pi. Let's try it out. And Armbian is just gonna facilitate us writing our true operating systems to the NVMe drive. Uh, my case is already built. Uh, nightly images uh, tends to be the newest releases. And the image file. It's funny how literally Orange Pi 5 is the only board that doesn't have the newest kernel on this page. Battle Sarah. They recently released 36. Copying this link because Battle Sarah's direct length is notoriously slow. And Axel is a download accelerator. So uh, it's the only file I do like that. Now we have two downloads going. Let's get uh, Jellos. Right after GitHub, somewhere a little further down. Of course, we can click the releases on the right, but you can also find this one. Might be easier to find on a phone, maybe. Right there, Orange 5. And why not? We have a checksum. Let's make sure we get legitimate copy of Armbian. Really, you should be checking the signatures. So that link we clicked on had a different name than their other link. In other words, two identical files with different, they just named it differently. I was wondering about that. But you can see it matches. And then they also come with a text file which has some pretty useful info in here uh, on how to write it to the disk, uh, to the uh, SD card. Uh, so this step may not be needed, but uh, I'm going to unzip everything or uncompress, decompress. SDD. is my SD card and let's just clear it out by writing a few megabytes to it of blank data. Um, every time you write to a disk, go ahead and sync it. Block size 1M.
1M is probably not the best size, but it's a lot better than the default, which is probably 512 bytes. My SDC is uh, my jump drive, uh, flash drive. That's just me formatting it. Syncing in, of course, even though using FDisk already syncs it for you. So uh, I partitioned the drive. Now I am just writing a file system to it. EXT4, syncing it for sure. Uh, just looking at the block devices, making sure it shows up. Mounting it. And now I'm going to copy JellOS or JellOS and Batocera, which I have used in the past, to that disk. Switching over, it actually booted off the SD card. And again, we're using Armbian to set things up. Armbian has good enough support for Orange Pi 5 where it comes with its own uh, bootloader uh, binary, not binary, but uh, kind of an image we can write onto the flash drive not flash drive sorry about that uh, can't think but uh, SBI uh, chip which I already have the case set up so I can't really look at actually I have the thing of jig on it so I can't see the name of the flash chip but uh, you can probably look that one up all right so it's probably the same name for you MTD block zero um, we're haven't seen this done but make a backup of it I don't know why no one shows that but uh, you definitely want to do that. Return to factory if you ever need to. That way you're not scratching your head if it doesn't work off first try. So this is the folder that houses that RKSPI file, uh, that image of basically an upgrade to the firmware on the SPI chip. And I didn't try this without doing the upgrade, but uh, every tutorial I saw says you, you need to upgrade the firmware uh, so it can boot and VME. And you'll notice I don't really use a whole lot of GUI stuff. So that's probably like the Armbian config or if you're on orange pi 5 by the uh, android version that's right orange config orange pi config something like that it's essentially doing the same thing um, so now i'm writing that batocero file directly to the nvme again I'm not using Belina Etcher, but um, it is included with Armbian in applications. It's just that it's a kind of, it's not an official release. It's someone's release that they made compatible with ARM64. So I'm just using everything that's built in that wasn't tacked on to Linux. Here you see it boots. Uh, now I got my work ahead of me because uh, Battlestar doesn't like to have audio playing by default for some reason. Got to fix that up. Got to try gel loss. 
and I'll get back to you as to which one's the better one. See ya.